Hi, I'm Mary Duffy with the Earth Discovery Institute. We're here in the back country of Southeast San Diego County to introduce you to native milkweeds. Milkweeds in general are the host plants of monarch butterflies. Narrowleaf milkweed, Asclepius fascicularis, is easy to identify by its long pointy leaves that grow along the main stem, which is tall and erect. It's not often that you find patches of narrowleaf milkweed this large. It grows in coastal sage scrub and chaparral plant communities, and it really likes these low swales like we found here. The flower develops in summer at the top of the plant. You can see it develops these flower clusters or umbrals, which actually consist of many little flowers that are the true flowers, probably 20 of them here or so. And each flower singularly has five petals and these long lobes that extend back, which are often anywhere from lavender to pink to even greenish colored. Narrowleaf milkweed is a wonderful example of a native plant that supports not only the threatened western monarch, but an incredible diversity of pollinators and other insects. By late summer, the pollinated flowers start to set seed. They develop long, smooth pods. These will slowly dry and split, releasing seeds that are taken on a breeze by silky hairs or pappus. Not only are western monarch populations in decline, but the habitats that support narrowleaf milkweed are becoming scarcer throughout Southern California. This limits food resources not only for monarch butterflies, but for native bumblebees, Pepsis wasps, milkweed bugs, clearwing moths, and countless other unique and beneficial insects. We at EDI want to thank you for learning more about western monarchs and their native habitats, and for committing to plant more native milkweeds while encouraging monarchs to migrate by cutting back your ornamental and tropical milkweeds in winter. Thanks for doing your part to protect milkweed and monarchs.